Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. I am working with natural light today, the sun, and it is very unpredictable, my friends. Sometimes it wants to go behind the clouds and stay there for a few minutes, so the video may get bright, but then it may get dark. Uh, I just have to go with it, my friends. My light system, for some reason, my camera, my brain, and the lights just cannot jive together. So we are going to get started and today's video is going to be all about my favorite brushes. If you've been watching me for a very long time, you know that I am that person that does not necessarily use a brush for what it's sold for. So if you like a certain brush that applies your blush perfectly, that's the way you roll, my friends, because that's what I do. So I do have some brushes here. Some I've had for a very long time and some are newer to me. Um, not, not so new that I've not used them. I'm talking about a couple months new, but uh, I wanted to share all of my favorite brushes and some of them, my Sephora brushes I want to start out with because you know for many years I talked about Sephora and their Pro Line brushes. And I do have quite a few of them that are favorites. However, they changed it. So I wanted to make mention and say that the Sephora professional brushes are very, very nice, but the ones that I'm showing you may not exist anymore. If I can find them, of course, I will put them below for you. I love the Sephora powder brush. It just really is a fabulous brush and it was the Pro Featherweight Powder Brush number 91. Not sure that this one exists anymore. It just had a really nice head to it. These are synthetic uh, and I just really loved the way it applied foundation. It didn't leave any stragglers behind. I don't need any brush hairs on my face because I can't see them anymore. So when I'm out in public, they're going to think I have whiskers on my face. <laughs> All right. So um, this really is just a great powder brush, but like I said, they have have revamped their brushes so I'm not sure that this one still exists anymore. Same goes for the number 92 fan brush. This was my most favorite fan brush to apply my bronzer. It just is fabulous but um, you know I don't use it in videos that much anymore because I hate to share things with you that you can't get. But I'm going to take a look-see on the Sephora site and see if maybe they just replaced it with a different one. But I saw nothing wrong with this brush that it had to be revamped. Uh, the Shiseido Facial Brush. This I used in a couple of videos a while ago. This is a really nice... Uh, foundation brush if you don't like the sponge or you don't like the regular foundation brushes this is really nice at buffing out it's easy to hold so it works in the hand well but buffing out and it really because of the way that it is finely meshed together it's a Japanese brush they really are fabulous but the way how tightly it is and the density of it but not too much it does give you some play it just really buffs, it buffs in the foundation foundation beautifully. So if you're somebody that doesn't really like to have a lot of coverage and you like a more natural, you might want to try a foundation brush that's a little bit denser, like the Artiste brush. Those are really nice. They just give you a beautiful, beautiful finish of foundation. The next set of brushes, and there goes the sun. The next set of brushes is from B. Delium Tools. This one here you will see Scott Barnes talk about a lot, and he likes to use this one for the concealer. And Scott Barnes is famous for being JLo's makeup artist. Um, and this one here is 968. I do like this brush a lot. You can use it for concealer or you can use it for your foundation. And he calls it the cat's paw because it kind of resembles a cat's paw. I'm not going to worry about the darkness of the video because I'm sharing brushes with you. It will come back in, my friends. So it looks like I have a boatload of makeup on because my makeup is done for normal light, <laughs> not dark light. The next brush is also from B. Delium, and I have used this brush for years. And this is the number 787. And what I really like about this, first of all, it has really long... Um, synthetic hairs and it is dual finished and I liked to use this to just soften the edge of my eyeshadow without really removing anything. I never really use this for application. I always use this for finishing touches. Really a great brush 
also available on Amazon. All of these brushes, if I can find them, will be listed and linked below. Two other oddballs, and then I'm going to get to brushes that I know are available. These are also oddballs. Now this was a knockoff to the NARS brush, and this is... I'm drawing a blank on the company and it's not on here, but I know you can find this brush. Oh my goodness, it is Japanesque. That's what it is, Japanesque. And this really is the same kind of brush as the NARS brush, but for a lot less. So, and I've had this brush for years. It doesn't lose its hair. It's synthetic. It doesn't shed. It's just really a nice brush. And I, you know, I feel like I'm using the NARS brush. So that is a really good option and affordable. Now this one here, I got at Target. This is from the Sonia Kaushik line. I love this fan brush. And I like to use a fan brush for highlighter, for blush. As an aging woman, I think if you're having a difficult time placing your brush on your cheek, try a fan brush. And again, this one is dual fiber. So it's only going to apply a small amount because it's only going to pick up a small amount. So this one here, again, great for blush, great for highlighting powder. powder. And you can use it for anything you want. You really can. Another right. Japanesque brush that I think I got this at Ulta, which I really like. It's great for just placing. It's a looser bristle. So it, it does pick up more product than a dual fiber or the fan brush, but it's still so nice to just pack on the blush if you want a little bit more. So this is a really nice one. And this is the 717. Not I sure that this brush is still available. It is from Marc Jacobs and it is the concealer brush. This is a baby cat's paw. It's, it's shaped just like this one, but in a very small brush and it's just really great for doing detailed work that you may need around your eyes with your concealer. You can really get in there and really soften that out. Sometimes when you use your finger or a sponge, you kind of miss little areas. This one here is very precise and you really can put the uh, corrector wherever you want it or your concealer. So I really do like this one. Again, this is the concealer brush. Two Tom Ford brushes that I have talked about forever. And they did change them and made them vegan, but number 11 and 13, this is a nice shader brush. If you just want to pack onto your lid, you can also turn the brush and get a more precise application in your crease. This one here, same thing. This is number 13, really nice for just really working the crease colors out or applying them. Um, really do love these brushes. So these brushes have been with me for a very long time. The next I, brand of brushes I'm going to talk about are from Refer. And I have, I think, almost every brush this company makes. And I can honestly say that there is not one brush in this brand that I don't like. Now, I do have some that I favor over the others, which I'm going to share with you. But I want to tell you about this company. I've mentioned this before. They have what's called a concept store. This makes them really unique because I don't really know of any other company that does this. They will put certain brushes in the concept store and they will sell them to us at half price. So if a brush is $24 and it goes in the concept store, it's $12. It really makes trying a more expensive brush, and I don't think these are really that expensive, considering some of the other Japanese brushes, for one brush, you can drop down a hundred and some odd dollars. Um, anyway, so getting back to the concept store, they will put their brushes in there, certain brushes, and they will put them in there for half price, and all they want you to do is to come back and leave a review because they really do like feedback about their brushes because it helps them to improve or maybe even create a brush that may be missing in the brand. So the brush set that I'm holding right now is their core collection brush set. And I think this is the first time the company has done this. Usually it's individual brushes that go in the concept store. But on October 12th, this brush set is going in the concept store. 
Excuse me, I had a coughing attack. As I was saying, this is the core collection, brush one through five. It is going in the concept store today, October 12th. And the core collection retails at $168, but it will be eligible for $80 off with the code concept store at checkout. And that's almost 50% off. It's actually 48% off. The Core Collection and brush set is their best selling brush set. And now while supplies last, and I'm quite sure this will sell out quickly. So if you want to take advantage of it, it starts today. So get on over there. The link will be below. I've made it really easy for you. Just click that link. It takes you right to the Core Collection. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brushes because I absolutely love them. This is the number one brush. I do all of my blending. I will also place right in the crease color and then turn the brush sideways and it allows me to blend it down. Love it. This picks up product nicely. It blends beautifully. I absolutely love these brushes. They clean really well. I get no shedding with it at all. So that is the number one brush. You can also buy it individually. Um, it's a shader brush. This is fabulous for laying down color. You can pack it on or you can sweep it on. Again, picks up product perfectly, uh, lays it down. I just, I love this brush. I use it all the time. Again, that is brush number two, a shader brush. This is brush number three. I've used this many times in my videos. I love this brush for working underneath the eye. I also love it for just really concentrating extra color on the corner of the eye. Just really, really great. You could sweep color across the whole lash line with this brush. I absolutely love a pencil brush. And again, this one, it has perfect density. It's really a great brush. Next, Next one is number four. This is the angled cheek blush brush. Love this. You can just place it on and then just do a nice sweeping motion. Again, picks up a lot of products. So you just need to tap lightly into your product and just tap it on and then blend it out. And, and the final one, number five, is a multi-purpose cheek brush. I find that I do a lot of sweeping with this. If you have a smaller face, you could use this as your bronzing brush. Just really a fabulous set. So let Again, me end that starts today, October 12th. It will be in the concept store until supplies last. All right, my friends, Talk about okay. a couple of other brushes that I have from Refer and each one of these brushes, I have more than one in. I absolutely love them. Uh, this one here is number 23. This, this is, is even smaller than the number three in the core collection. This is number 23. You could use this if you're somebody who likes gel liner, you could use this for gel liner. If you have really small eyes and you need a smaller detailed brush, this one here really gets right in there for you. And sometimes, this is what I mean, sometimes a brush will be made for something else, but if you have really small eyes or you have a shaky hand and you have a hard time really dealing with the size of brushes, move to a smaller brush and it will help you out, my friends. So that's what I like the 23 for. The next now, four brushes, I consider these all crease brushes or blending out the crease brushes. And each one of them is fabulous. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the smallest. And again, if you have a small eye or you have a difficult time placing product, number 13 would be a fabulous brush. This brush is great and really place. precise as to where you want to place your product. Or if you have a really small eye, this will really give it into just the crease area, at least for placement. And then you could go in, if you have a really small eye, you can pick up the next one, which is number 14, just a little bit bigger than the 13, I believe it was. Yes, 13. This one here, you could actually go in and do your blending if you have a really small eye or you just really want to have a brush to really do fine detail work or fine blending. This brush is perfect. Then we move into brush number 15, which I use all the time. This is probably my most favorite brush of them all. This brush I use for applying into the crease, but I will also use it for sweeping color exactly where I want it. And then I will move in with the number 16 that is even larger just by a little bit. And I will use this to really blend out any harsh lines that I may see. 
Love, love, love these brushes. This one, I absolutely love it. Actually replaced my Artiste brush. Now, it's actually a smudge brush, which you can use it for that, and I do. It's the number 12 brush, and you see it's almost, it's a dome brush, and it's dense. What I like to do is I will pick up a deeper tone, and I place it exactly where I want it. And then if you want to smudge, you just move lightly, and that's when you would pick up one of your blending brushes and just soften the edge of that application. So I absolutely love, love, love this brush. They also have a fan brush, which is number 20. They will all be listed and linked below and what their usage is for if I'm going quickly. Uh, love the fan brush. Of course, I love it for the same reasons that I love my Sonia Kashuk, but the Sonia Kashuk is a dual fiber. This is not. This is, again, these are all Japanese made. Uh, I believe they're all goat hair. So this one here applies blush beautifully, applies highlight beautifully. If you want to just sweep on your eyebrow with a little bit of highlight or brush, blush, it just works fabulous, my friends. I absolutely love this brush. 19 then, is a multi-cheek brush, multi-purpose cheek brush. You can use this to apply highlight if you prefer this over a fan. This you, brush can also be used to apply just the right amount of contour, and then you can actually just buff it up so that you don't have a harsh line. Of course, you can go ahead and tap your blush on with this and then just sweep away to have the perfect blush application. The next brush up is number 22. It is their bronzer. Love it for tapping my bronzer on and then just lightly sweeping it away. Those are my favorite brushes from Refor. So last but not least, I'm going to move on to my favorite brushes from BK Beauty. And this one here is their 101 foundation brush. This is a fabulous, fabulous foundation brush. And I'm not even a brush foundation girl, but I do love this one. It is very similar to the one that Scott Barnes likes, but you can see that the, the size is different. So I do think this one is nice for your concealer, but this one here, it's just a great brush to sweep on your foundation. And these are synthetic, but the way they are pulled together, they leave no streaks. And that's why I don't like brushes. They leave a lot of streaking. Next this is the 104. Sometimes I will just use this to apply bronzer all over my cheek, but most of the time I'm using this to just really soften anything that I may have put too much on. This is one of my most favorite powder brushes. I have several favorite powder brushes, but I wanted to bring the ones that I really, I wish Refer would come up with a powder brush. Maybe that's in the works, my friends. But the 102 from BK Beauty, I love this. I reach for this most of the time when I am applying powder. So great powder brush. And last but not least is the 103. This one here I use to apply bronzer onto my face. I usually will have it at this angle when I'm applying and then I will turn it and just soften that edge or I'll use it on the whole cheek. It depends on how I want my bronzer applied. All right, my and friends, so that is it for today's video, my favorite brushes at the moment. Let me know in the comment section what are some of your favorite brushes. You might turn me on to a new brush. You never know. And don't forget, today is October 12th, so the Core Collection brush set will go into the Concept Store today for almost 50% off. This is a great brush and this is a great deal. So below so, the video, I will put the link for you and the code is concept store that gets you the discount. All right, all right I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for sticking with me while the sun decided to go in and out all throughout this video, but we can't fight with mother nature, can we? If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit the subscribe button and the bell before you leave. All right, my friends? Next time, my friends, go out in the world and be lovable. You know I love all of you. Bisous, my friends, bisous.